And Mr. Cleaver is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I think this uh, hearing is quite appropriate. Uh, it, it's extremely, uh, I think, uh, important. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the balloon. Uh, in fact, I, I'm, I, I'm going to wait until um, until our uh, intelligence uh, community um, provides us with some data. We don't even know what's, what's going on so far. Um, and um, uh, but I am concerned about something. I, I was looking at what we what we're doing here. Uh, you know, the the world's two biggest economies, uh, United States and China. Uh, we are in a battle with uh, a nation that uses its using using the government of the nation uh, to propel its development uh, and around the world. Uh, and of course, we deal, do, deal with the private sector. Uh, the trade uh, relationship between the U.S. and China, uh, as my little granddaughter says, is, is ginormous. Um, and then we, we uh, import uh, more goods from China than we import from any other nation uh, on the globe. Uh, there are some benefits. And so we, we uh, lower prices uh, for consumers uh, and also some bohemoth uh, profits uh, for the corporate sector. Uh, and, and so, you know, my, my one, my, my issue is, you know, we have a schizophrenic relationship, don't we, with China? Any, any of you? Is, is schizophrenia a bad word on, on, in terms of describing the relationship? Now, um, I, I think we have, you know, we are obviously at a pivot point in our relationship to China, where there is a growing, I think, strong bipartisan consensus that we need a different uh, set of policies. Now, I think in certain ways, the trading relationship and some of the structures on the trading relationship is lagging behind the geopolitical realities we now face, and we could have a long discussion about how to better balance the trade and, and tariffs. Personally, I think what we need to move to at a conceptual level with China is a much more managed trading and investment relationship. They're heavily managed on their side of the economy. They have all kinds of distortive subsidies. They have all kinds of unfair IP theft and things like that. And we're just going to have to manage the trading relationship with them so that they don't undercut our economy and our prosperity with all the things they're doing uh, over there uh, in China. Mr. Yeah. Lober. Oh, yeah, and if I could just add to that, I mean, I, I don't know if I would use the word schizophrenic, but I do think we should have somewhat of a bifurcated approach, and that there are areas where clearly certain types of trade could pose a national security threat, and we need to crack down on those, or there are areas where China is clearly cheating. Uh, we need to deploy tools to counteract that. On the other hand, I think it's critical to realize that the Chinese market is really important for a lot of our companies. And if that we're gonna be globally competitive, we wanna be selling into China. And think about it this way. If we're selling a bunch of stuff to China, essentially Chinese consumers are subsidizing our continued innovation, and that's a good thing. So I think what we wanna do is try to be bifurcated, as I described it, crack down where it's unfair or where there's a national security concern, but op try to open up China where it can benefit the United States. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted to move to, to the uh, 1970 uh, uh, Bank S Secrecy Act, uh, 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 and then you just raised another issue I wanted to make me want to go, go into that a little bit more, because uh, we, we're, well, I won't, I, let me get to the Bank Secrecy Act. Uh, you know, uh, I think there are rules being, being for, uh, formulated now, but I'd, I'd like to, to, to find out from you, Mr. Lorber. Um, uh, you know, the real estate industry, um, in my estimation, is, is vulnerable to money laundering because they are, uh, at, the, at this moment, they're not required uh, to comply with this rather old but, but very important Bank Secrecy Act. Uh, and and, and I'm, do you agree that, uh, that real estate transactions ought to also be reported, uh, just as banks are now required? required to re report 
uh, you know, suspicious. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.